Hey y'all, this is Rebecca Long with Pampered Chef in Dothan, Alabama, coming to you today to give you two quick guacamole hacks and why I think you should try to add avocado to your diet. I know some of you love it like me and some of you won't touch it because I think color, texture, guacamole, all the fun things, but there are a couple quick things you can do at home that you could have your own guacamole like you're out at a restaurant without having to go crazy and make a ton of things with guacamole. So two quick hacks for you. Um, you can either take your avocados and simply add a little bit of your favorite salsa, because when you think about it, guacamole is avocado, tomato, onion, jalapeno, cilantro, salt, lime, everything that's in salsa. So quickly, you could just combine the two, mash it all together, and you can have it to like jazz up your tacos or your fajitas or a snack, whatever you want. The second is a brand new thing we have coming, our new guacamole seasoning mix. And you simply have to take one mashed avocado to one tablespoon of guacamole mix, and that's it. So let me show you a couple of things here. Um, we have two tools you can do avocados with. One, tried and true, available now, the scoop and spread. And sorry, I do mine with avocados a lot. I need to, to uh, magic eraser this guy. Um, this is a great little thing for peanut butter and jelly, because you can do one end where you scrape out the peanut butter and one end where you scrape out the jelly and it's long enough for you to flip so your hands aren't in the mix. Uh, but I love it for avocados because you can use the serrated end to cut your avocado and you can use the little scooper to get it out. The other is our brand new avocado tool coming and this guy will cut, it will scoop, and this fun thing will take the pit where you just have to grab it and it will come right on out. So you don't have to use a knife and try to cut yourself. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this. I've got some really, really ripe avocados I needed to do something with, and I thought I would just pop on here since I was gonna make guacamole and show you. So again, you can use the end of this scooper to do it, throw it in a bowl, get a little bit more out of there. Or if you're using the scoop and spread, you can do the exact same thing. And if you wanna add avocado, just add avocado, not make guacamole, to your diet. You can put it on a sandwich, burger, grilled cheese, put it over some eggs, um, just eat it on toast is great. But if you wanna dice it up for something, you can use your scoop and spread here or your avocado knife and you can just cut it, dice it right inside the shell, use your scoop and scoop it up. It's also great in salsa. Love mixing it with corn and black beans, green onions, cilantro, lime little bit of salt and olive oil and having a delicious salsa for fish tacos. So you would literally just take your avocado and mash it up. I've got it in a little bowl here. I'm going to show you this. This is so ripe. You can literally just do it with the scoop and spread. But if your avocado is more firm, grab a fork or our mix and chop. You guys know the hamburger chopper. Great for that. Um, mix it up and then you just add some avocado or guacamole seasoning and some lime and it is done. Now, let me talk to you about this bowl real quick because this is a great little bowl. If you've been around Pamper Chef long enough at all, you know all about our cool and serve products that keep things cold for hours. Did you know we have bowls now? Yeah, so you can just put the little insert in the bottom. This is frozen, so it'll keep it cold for hours. Um, also great if you're somewhere right now where you're dealing with some power outages and you need to keep some food cold, pull these out and put them under your food. It'll help keep things frozen and cold a little bit longer. But you literally just mix this up, mix the two together. And I will tell you, I personally think um, it's better with a little bit of lime. My husband prefers it with a little extra lime if he's actually gonna eat it. And so you just take a lime half, throw it in your citrus press, and throw it in there. Get yourself a little bit when you're doing it too. So avocado health benefits, let me tell you why you wanna add it. It's incredibly nutritious. You may not know this, but one avocado actually contains more potassium than a banana, which is good for you. Um, that will help your blood pressure. It's also loaded with heart healthy fat and it's incredibly high in fiber, which is great for digestion. And if you wanna learn some additional um, avocado benefits, Look up healthline.com. They've got a great like 12 healthy facts for it that I think you might find really handy. So you just add however many avocados, however many scoops, however many however much salsa, whatever you're doing, throw it in there and you've got homemade guacamole. You can keep it in your bowl. That even comes with a lid. Put it down in there properly. 
and then it's good to go to store in the fridge or keep out whatever you want to make. I'm going to add some more because I have several avocados I need to use. And then another quick tip, take your avocado pit, throw it in there with it. So if you're not making this to eat right away, this will help keep it from browning on the top for a little while. So you can have it for dinner tonight. So hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, sharing all kinds of seasoning tips and things of how to use seasonings to change up dinner over in our cooking community called Becca's Cooking VIPs. I have been blown away in the past week, all the cooking y'all are doing. I think it's the storms and the winter weather and everything going through and COVID. Um, everyone's home cooking. So if you need some fresh ideas, my cooking community is completely free. All you have to do is join. So I will drop a link in the comments if you haven't joined yet. And if you have any uh, avocado or guacamole hacks that you love, drop them in the comments. Share this with your friends. Hope y'all are having a great day.